hello guys how are you doing today welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about uh, additional documents that will boost your chances of getting a polish visa and the cost of living in poland okay so basically how much you should have in your bank account this is a very important because these things that we're going to talk about today can be the decider as to whether you're going to get this visa or not okay this is why you you have to take this very seriously now these are from my tons of um years of experience based on like i've applied for polish visa a couple of times all right and also i've lived in poland for a couple of years so these things i came out with these things based on my experience and um i wanted to pay proper attention okay in case you see me for the first time my name is promise breno and i welcome you especially to my channel in this channel i make content especially for those who don't have a lot of money and they would like to study abroad or they would like to move abroad to work abroad so ensure that you're subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop content because every week you will surely get notified if you click the bell please give me a thumb up and if you're a returning viewer i want to appreciate you so much thank you for spicing my channel now there are two components here the first component is for people who are applying for polish visa from turkey and the second component are for people or is for people who are applying for polish visa from nigeria okay now it doesn't matter the kind of polish visa you are applying for whether you are applying for um the polish national d visa or you are applying for the polish Schengen visa you know it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter you just need to follow these things that are here okay and i assure you that if you follow them it's going to boost your chances of getting your visas now um for those in turkey the extra document i want you to add even though i've talked i've talked about the other documents already in the previous meeting yeah now i wanted to add these two more documents okay i mean three yeah two more documents okay the first one is criminal record certificate now, um, when I was in Turkey, I got this from a court. I've, initially, I thought that it's, pol it's police report that I need. So I went to the police station, and the police now directed me the, uh, to that place. They told me to go to a particular place. So I went there, and it was a court, and um, they did it for me. So you can do this criminal record certificate there. Then I did it for, like, I think 50 kurush, not expensive, but now I think it will be more. OK, so you can do it there. And also after doing it, you can also ask them to 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 put a posting on it. OK, or legalize it for you. Or you can also do it yourself like you can take it to the notary and get it notarized. OK, so please add this to your documents. This will this can boost your chance of getting this visa. OK, now um, another document I wanted to add is confirmation of address. In Turkey, they call it Nufus. I actually have mine here. Um, you can't see it, but I wish I can. This is how it looks like, but um, I wish I can show you uh, well. But yeah, so um, in that place, you see um, like uh, your address, a confirmation of your address, your address where you currently live in Turkey. Uh, you see the, the stamp over there. Anyway, I, I sent a copy to angel and uh, diamond so i can also put another maybe i can send it to the group so that you guys will see it everybody will see it and try to get it okay this is very important all right now um okay let me come to nigeria first talk about police report certificate then we'll talk about how much now uh for those in nigeria you should add this i just got my police report certificate from nigeria recently and i spent around um 65 000 naira apart from the money I gave to the person who did it. You should package around 60,000 to 65,000 Naira. Now, this is very important. This can boost your chances of getting this visa because they will see it that you don't have a criminal record and you're coming to the country clean, you know, so it can boost your chances. This is very important. Okay, now, the very important part of this meeting is how much should you have in your bank statement? Now, in the previous meeting, I talked about uh, bank statement a lot, like I described. I even talked about um, uh, sponsorship letter. I told you how to write that letter. Um, let's say, for example, somebody is sponsoring you. 
you know, you, you need, uh, the person needs to write a letter, sponsorship letter, how the heading is going to look like, how the addresses should be, um, should be stated, should be um, situated, how the body is going to look like. I explained these things in my previous meeting. And also, I, I think I explained this also in the video I posted on YouTube. Okay, so you can also check it out. I posted the link to the video I made, um, you know, after last meeting. I posted the link in the um, in the group chats, so you can also look at it there. And that is if you want to remind yourself of about it. Now, and uh, what else? Okay, so how much should you have? Now, based on my calculation, right? I've stayed in Poland for like I think four years plus or so, or four years. Now, um, I, 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 I think that if you have 5,000 euros in Poland, you can live, at least you can, you can live a normal life with 5,000 euros. Okay, if you're not extravagant in your spending, you can survive with 5,000 euros. You know? And I, I already drafted a calculation of how, um, how those money, those things that the money would be used for. Okay, if you're living in Turkey, as, as of the exchange rate of when I was doing the calculation, the exchange rate was around uh, 91,600 Turkish liras. Okay. Now, you know that when I talk about bank statement, I, I'm talking about it can be your own, it can be your sponsor, either your own bank statement or from your sponsor. So you must not have the money cash. It has to be a statement from the bank. So you, you go to the bank and give a statement. So even if you have you 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 collect statement from your bank account and later you withdrew your money. It's, there's no problem about it. Like you can still um you can still use it. You know, it's not like Germany that you have in Germany you must have that money cash. You get it? For Germany, you must have that money cash. Okay. Now, if you're living in Nigeria, that money is equivalent to around 2.1 million naira. Ideally, I would suggest if you're living in Nigeria, you want to come to Poland for Polish visa, ideally. That is student Polish visa. Ideally, I would suggest you should have like 2.1 million to 3 million naira. Okay. And if you're living in Turkey, you should have around 91,600 um, Turkish lira to around 100,000 Turkish lira. Okay. Good. Now, these are the breakdown of what this money can be used for in Poland. So, let's say, for example, you rent an apartment. So, I mean, you you still stay in the dorm because every, every one of you, I applied for dormitory. So let's say, for example, you're going to pay 200 euros per month for accommodation. Okay. Now per year, it will be that you're, you're going to be paying 2,400 euros per year. And now for groceries, for groceries and food stuff, it's around 100, just, these are just estimates, okay? Around 100 uh, euros per month, which would be totaling 1,200 euros per year. And for others like transport, haircut, personal stuff, you know, women, there are a lot of things that you need to do with money and stuff. And stuff. You know, but it depends on your, life, on your lifestyle. For some people, this money is small, but I'm just giving it, I'm just stating this based on an average, you know, human being, average lifestyle, okay? Now, um, let's say other things you spend around 1,400 euros, okay? Uh, per year, for example, okay, per year. So everything is totaling 5,000 euros. Do you understand? So if I were you, I'll take a screenshot of this. So this is the end of my presentation. If you have any question, please let me know. Do you have any question? Yeah, I have a question. <clears throat> sure, ask. Okay, my question is based on this uh, statement. Is it possible to combine two, like mine and a sponsor zone from Nigeria? Why, why not? Why not make it one? It's going to be conflicting to the embassy. Now, let me just let me give you an example. When I wanted to come to Poland, the last time I wanted to come in, this last one, I was accepted for Erasmus program in Poland. At the same time, during the same kind of period of time too, I was also. Um, accepted for volunteering in an institution in Poland. So I have two invitation letters from the school where I was coming to university and the other one. When I applied for the visa, I submitted two invitation letters. And you know that they, they rejected me because of that? Yeah, they rejected me because of that. They said that 
the uh, in the explanation of rejection letter, he said that the reason for going to Poland was is not clear, something like that. It was not clear. They don't know which one I'm going to, I'm going for. So it's better for you to choose one. If you're using maybe somebody's a sponsor's bank statement, then it's better to put all the money in one account. If the sponsor, if the person decides to send you all the money to you in Turkey, so that after after making the bank statement, you send back the person's money, then do it. Okay? Do you understand? Do you understand? So as I talked, as I mentioned, bank statement has to do with inflow, outflow. It should not be a virgin account. If I use that word, virgin account means that you just open an account today and you put 5,000 euros and you go and apply for visa. It is very risky now. They will say that this guy only did this because of uh, visa. Uh, he doesn't have any source of, uh, you know what I mean? Do not be sure that you, 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 there's, some, there's somewhere you'll be withdrawing money to take care of yourself in Poland. They want to know that, yeah, you have a history of withdrawing money and money is going to the account. So that they, do, they want to know that you can take care of yourself in Poland. Do you understand? Any other question? Is it clear? I just wanted to make a little bit contribution. Yeah, sure. Hello, can you hear? Me? Yes. Uh, yeah, for the yes, for the criminal for the criminal record on the. And um, I'm I'm trying to like make a little bit of contribution for those in Turkey. Okay. Yeah, from the criminal record and uh, certificate and um, and the confirmation of address. This one you can easily get it uh, online if you have it. Okay. Okay. Mm, yeah. So all this can be like easily gotten from it. So that's just what I what I wanted to add. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank, you, Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I was in my portal last night, the Edeblet portal. I saw some other things, but I don't know how to assess what you're saying now. I tried, but I couldn't. Hmm. Okay. Um. Any other question? If you can access it, right, you can just go and do it like manually, the way I told you. It won't be a problem. We've not had any question from those in Nigeria. And nobody have told me about the appointment status in Nigeria. Nigerians, hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, it's convenient. Yeah, I know. Um. I think um um uh, with regards to our appointment, we are we are working on it. Sorry, I don't have light here. No, we are Nigeria. We don't have Nepal light. So um with regard to my our distance, um the the visa, we are working on it. So we have been given um the agent we contacted he gave us um um next uh, second week of um next month, no September second week. That our name will be listed on second second week of September. So we are hoping on that. I think so. Second week of September. Yes, he said. Wow. I need, I, wait, wait. I need to inform the school though because ah, uh, that means that means you guys have to send your your originals. So, Sorry. That means you have to send the originals to to the school by post. So if you can use DHL, it will be better and safer. I'm not that somebody who encourage somebody sending the original, but then. I think that's the only way. If you liked that video you just watched, please give me a thumb up on this video and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Okay, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And if you have any question, please put the comment section below and I will answer you. Okay, okay, till I come your way again. Have a great time. See you in my next video.